Top 7 Best Budget Mirrorless Cameras 2022 Through extensive research and testing, I have put together the list of options that will meet the need of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or particular use, we have got you covered. For more information, I have put links of products in the description. Make sure to check it out. Like the video, comment, don't forget to subscribe, and let's get started. Number 1. Panasonic Lumix 100 with 12 32 lens. Vloggers and content creatives more broadly will enjoy the simplicity of the Lumix 100. It makes it easy to capture high-quality 4K video and stills with its approachable button layout. Even people uninterested in the technicalities of capturing great-looking videos will be able to get great results with this camera. There's an inherent risk of dumbing things down too much when creating a camera for social media creatives, but Panasonic has avoided that pitfall with the Lumix 100. By giving it a decent viewfinder and proper camera ergonomics, Panasonic has given the Gun 100 an edge in this highly competitive marketplace. This is also a great camera to start with if you're more interested in vlogging than regular photography, or both that's still a relatively new model. But the price has come down, and it looks even better value now than when it was launched. Number 2. Canon EOS M50 Mark Roman II with 1545M lens. On the surface, this is a modest upgrade over the original Canon EOS M50, but the additions make it worth picking up over its predecessor. These include improved autofocus, along with eye detection in stills and video mode, along with big improvements for video shooters in the form of clean HDMI out, vertical video recording, which is great for social media, and the ability to live stream direct to YouTube. Alas! While it's an excellent 1008 type camera, it's not a great option for 4K. When activated, it loses its dual pixel AF and is left lumbered with slower contrast detect AF instead and suffers a 1.6 crop. So your lens's angle of view becomes narrower. However, it packs a lot of other tech into a compact body, including a great 24.1 MP sensor, 10 frames per second continuous shooting, and the fact that it has a viewfinder, which many similarly priced mirrorless cameras lack. This is an easy-to-use camera that's really rather versatile for many photo and video situations. As noted, in terms of hardware, you're getting an identical camera to the original M50. That means you get the same capable 24.1 MP APS-C image sensor, with a sensitivity of ISO 125,600 and a maximum burst shooting speed of tenths. This renders sharp and appealing still images, and thanks to Canon's spectacular dual pixel CMOS AF, you can expect robust autofocus performance to get your shot sharp. However, the market that the EOS M50 Mark Roman II is really making a play for its video and content creation. It captures 4K video at 24 or 25 up and 1008 type full HD video at 60, 50, 30, 25, and 24. However, there are caveats. While 1008 type features the same dual pixel AF, based on superior phase detect autofocus technology, 4K video is instead limited to a more primitive contrast detect system. In addition, Shooting in 4K invokes a minimum of a 1.6 crop factor. Number 3. Olympus OMD-E M10 Mark Roman IV with 1442 EZ lens. The Olympus OMD-E M10 Mark Roman IV's predecessor, the Mark Roman III, was a great camera with plenty to offer. However, its aging 16 megapixel sensor and contrast autofocus left room for improvement. Luckily, the Mark Roman IV is a great update with the same 20.3 MP sensor as the PNF and improved continuous autofocus. While some improvements are incremental, the Mark Roman IV brings some interesting new offerings to the table, which include fast 15th continuous burst mode, meaning you will always get a shot of the action as soon as it happens. We're also a fan of the extra tiltable screen, which is capable of flipping 108 ID down to create the perfect selfie screen making this a great option for recording yourself for YouTube, acting as a webcam whilst gaming, and being a vlogging camera when you are out on your travels. 
The OMD EM10 Mark Roman 4 offers a lot more features than you would expect for the money and is super portable too. One of the key new features for the Olympus OMD EM10 Mark Roman 4 is the welcome addition of a 20MP live MOS sensor, which is a boost from the previous generation 16MP sensor. This brings the EM10 series in line with the latest versions of the EM5 and EMON series, which are both also using 20MP sensors. The Mark Roman 4 also features a compact in body image stabilization unit with up to 4.5 EV steps of compensation and 15 FPS high speed sequential shooting. There's also improved continuous AF precision for continuous focusing on moving subjects. Meanwhile, the face priority slash eye priority AF is now able to focus on faces in profile or looking down, which should help ensure that users can capture sharp portraits even at unconventional angles. Number 4. Nikon ZFC. It's a close call between the Nikon ZFC and the Nikon Z50 for a place in this list, but think this gloriously retro model just edges it. Both cameras are based on the same photographic engine, and fans of DSLR style deep grips will likely prefer the Z50. But the ZFC style and useful dials mean it's a camera you'll want to keep picking up and learning with. The ZFC is a fine all-rounder thanks to its 20.9 MP APS-C sensor and hybrid autofocus system. It can also shoot 4K slash third eye video and has a very angle touchscreen to help you shoot from different angles, including front on to the camera. The only real downsides are a lack of weather sealing and relatively limited collection of native lenses. That said, there are now an increasing number of third-party lenses from the likes of Viltrox and those physical controls are ideal for anyone who wants to get up to speed with the exposure triangle. Number 5. Nikon Z5 This compact full framer is arguably the best entry-level camera Nikon has yet produced. It's a full-featured snapper for the beginner or hobbyist with excellent image quality, a great design for ease of use, and one that's capable of handling several different subjects without any hiccups. Sure, its burst rate of 4.5 it doesn't stack up against one of the competition and its 4K video suffers from a significant crop. But despite that we can't recommend the Z5 highly enough for anyone looking to start their photography journey or just looking for a really capable camera that's an excellent all-rounder. Its very capable autofocus system comes with IAF on for those beautiful portraits you'd like to shoot. Plus you get some high-end features like its super high-res viewfinder and touch weather-sealed body. And, while it looks similar to the Zix and 7 bodies, it comes with a 24 15 kit lens that's designed to retract when not in use, making it a great walk-around or travel camera. The only reason we've got this Nikon lower down our list is the price tag. It's expensive when compared to some of the other entry-level cameras out there, full-frame or otherwise. Number 6. Sony Alpha A6100 Sony's A6000 was one of the most popular mirrorless models of the past few years, and while you can still buy it, the brand has refreshed it in the shape of the A6100. That brings a whole set of new features to Sony's entry-level offering, including improved video features which now include 4K. You also now get a touch-sensitive screen and advanced autofocus options which include the very well-performing IAF for both humans and animals. An extensive range of different lenses are available for Sony's mount, so it's also a system you can be confident when investing in. As it stands, the A6100 is one of the most expensive models on this list. But the good news is that if you're happy with older tech, the A6000 is still very much available, and right now, is a veritable bargain. Number 7. Fujifilm X-A7 We've long been big fans of Fujifilm's beginner-friendly Exa cameras, which are the cheaper, simpler alternatives to its X-mount mirrorless cameras. And the X-A7 is its best one yet, with a revamped rear screen and improved autofocus performance. That large touchscreen LCD in particular makes it a great choice for those upgrading from their smartphones, while the new 24.5 MP sensor produces crisp, sharp photos and now supports 4K slash third-eye video capture. Its autofocus is a big selling point too, 
with strong face and eye tracking that makes it particularly suitable for shooting people, if not action, and sports. If you can get past the slightly awkward ergonomics, which are still a step up from a smartphone, then it'll make a great choice as your first camera. So guys, that's all for the top 7 best budget mirrorless cameras 2022. The links of all products are given in the description, which are updated for the best prices. Subscribe our channel for more videos. We will meet in next video. Till then take care. Bye.